What I'm about to show you could potentially change the way you do videos in the future. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to an online software that uses artificial intelligence. What the software will allow me to do, it will allow me to take this girl out of this video and put her in a completely new video. Some of you are thinking, so what? This is called rotoscoping. It's been done before, and you are correct. The difference is the AI does it for you. The software I'm talking about is called Runway. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what Runway is and does, and then I'm going to do a small demonstration using one of the tools. Let's go into the AI Magic Tools, and here we are presented with many options. We can remove a background, basically have this video remove its background like so. Now this is interesting, text to image generation. In other words, any text that I write, the AI will do its level best to create an image. And we can also customize an image to image generation. In painting, it allows us to remove people or objects from an existing video. Replace background speaks for itself. It literally replaces a background. We can blur the background. In other words, if we have an image where we want to blur the background so we as a character stands out more, we can, we can precise refinement on alpha mats, which is great. We can add a green screen to any image that you have on video and motion tracking. And this is just some of the stuff that they're coming up with. This is in the beta test and it's going to be a lot more AI stuff on the way. Before I show you how I took the running girl from one video and placed it into the other video, let's have a little bit of fun with the text to image generation. All I need to do is write some text and the AI will do its level best to create an image from the text that I had supplied. Let's see when I type in a dragon mythical creature and hit generate. And there you go. This is 100% a completely original photo. You will not find this anywhere on the internet because this was created by the AI today. Now I will demonstrate to you how the AI did all the rotoscoping for me. One of the first things you need to do is obviously upload your video. So simply go into assets and from here we can go to upload and then simply look for the video file that you want to use. And in my case, I have girl running in the park. Since I already have this video uploaded, I will just go into create new project. From here, I have three options, green screen, in painting, and motion tracking. All I want to do for now is do green screen. This brings me into the editing interface. I simply click and drag this to the timeline. Over here, it literally tells me what to do. Click in there to start my masking. All I'm going to do is basically highlight key points that I want that mask to track. Once I have enough of these key points done, the AI will automatically generate the mask. And there you go. I have now created a perfect mask. I can preview the mask. During this preview, if I see any point where the mask does not track the individual properly, all I need to do is press pause or stop and then just apply another key point or a key frame. But I'm very happy with this because it's done an excellent job. If I had normally done this, say in Adobe's After Effects, a five second clip could literally take me half an hour. And as you can see, it done this in less than 30 seconds. Now I can go back and forth to make sure that the mask is tracking perfectly. I can use this mode up here, include or exclude. In other words, Let's say it slightly spills over, I can use the exclude node to remove a keyframe. Or if I find that the mask is not quite covering the subject, I can always include a node. Now, once I am happy with the mask, I get different options. It says here, done masking, continue editing. I can add the effect, I can blur the background, I can replace the background, and I can trim the video. I'm quite happy with all of this so far. The view can be done also in different ways. I can have it in the overlay view, or I can have it in the preview, or I can simply have it in an alpha channel like so. Let's go back to the overlay view. I can also make it look like, or view, where I'm just seeing the girl and nothing else by simply removing the background through the transparency layer. Okay, so I'm quite happy with this. All I need to do now is go to Done Masking. 
what it will do now it will generate basically for the export once it's rendered everything out it automatically puts a green screen into the background and all I need to do now is export this onto my computer from here I will then import it into my favorite non-linear editing software and here we are in my favorite video editing software Corel Video Studio 2022 and all I need to do now is click and drag this onto the overlay track like so I'm gonna use a sample background like so I'm just gonna click and drag this to fit the project now you will notice here I have a green screen now this also brings me to another point currently I'm using the basic pack and this allows me in an unlimited export or projects if you go for the free version you only get three projects per month and if you go up into the team project you can actually export this in a alpha channel in other words just a girl and you don't need to do the chroma key but anyway this is relatively easy in video studio all we need to do is double click on the overlay track go into the chroma key tab and then check chroma key and then one more thing I did I just created a custom motion to make it look like the girl was actually running down the hill so right click motion custom motion all I did was just move the current time indicator to the end or just simply click on the last keyframe and I just ever so gently just move it slightly down and press OK just to give that little illusion that she is indeed running down a hill and there you go my friends an introduction to AI and I believe a lot more of this stuff is coming if you are interested go to runwayml.com have a little bit of a play there's a lots of uh, video effects that is on display that you can see what it does and I really think it's worth it if you want to take your videos to a new level definitely check out runway I'm not affiliated to it at all, but I will be making more tutorials on how to use this software. And as always, thanks for joining.